Welcome to week five in review. We have Kevin changing his reading glasses to his pixelated glasses for his yeah, Pixar no, movie. These don't work. No, nope, those aren't going to work. Going back to the notes. All right, Let's here we go. Notes. So welcome to week one. How are you, Kev? Week one? Uh, sorry, week five. <laughs> week five. Week one where I'm sitting in my backyard again. We're great. I'm a little bit uh, more broke than I was uh, earlier today. <laughs> yeah, somebody went on a spending spree. But we'll but... talk about that after we do a recap of week five, right, Maddie? Absolutely. Let's start with the first game up, which is always yours, because unless I don't start with yours, you pitch a fit. Okay, so needing a bigger boat, I would agree, especially with a big, great white like me, are are are. <laughs> Took a bite out of you with uh, Gino. Look at that, getting 32. That's two weeks in a row I start the guy goes off. Talk about the surprise of the year, man. No one saw that coming. I saw it coming. I bid no, on you him. didn't. You Mark got him William, after. You didn't, did you, you didn't draft him, did you? Back to his winning ways. You didn't draft him, did you? Joe, on the other hand. You're not even listening. Uh, Zach Wilson. 14.6. Derrick Henry just about gets him 30. That's nice. And woo, Maddie highlights a Khalil Herbert <laughs> with 1.1. Hey, he, he got outscored by Gerald Evitt at 1.2. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he had a tough day. Um, uh, Montgomery obviously was a little better off uh, uh, on the field than Herbert. And so anytime Montgomery can play, Herbert's going to unfortunately pay the cost. And he did that day for poor Joseph. You had a, a good day from your pickup of Geno Smith. Not that you drafted him, so I wouldn't crow that much. Um, and a great day for Mike Williams and Mark Andrews. Um, and your Buffalo defense didn't help either. So uh -huh. nicely done. Good win for Kev. Thank you. Let's move on. In your face. Okay, we've got another new name. It's uh, like uh, people are changing their names weekly in this league now. Let's start with the one we do know. Love Hugs and Ice Cream holds tight with their name. Uh, they end up getting a, well, I was going to say a big win, but Jesus, I could have started half my squad and beat that score, 83. Let's see how he did. Nick Chubb does well again, 27 and a half. DK Metcalf, who is a beast. I like that dude. Jesus, Gino throws to him a lot because he had a couple of drops and still scored well, 20 points. And the Bucks get him 15. On your side, let's see. Jalen Hurts got literally exactly what he was projected to do. Not so great out of your... <laughs> Tag team of running backs, Aaron Jones and Rashad White, who combined to give you about 18 points. <laughs> who are these guys? Ro Romeo Dubes gets, Dobbs. Dobbs gets you. Does it say Dobbs? It says Dubes. Okay. It's pronounced Dobbs. Okay, thank you for correcting me on that one. And then we got, uh, he got you 5.9. No tight end to speak of. Great management <laughs> there. And then we've got Christian Kirk, who averages 16 and a half, but fell flat on, on Sunday. I, I'm assuming he played Sunday. Uh, with 2.1 points. Finally, the Dolphins <laughs> defense. Uh, you, you, you should have started your tight end there. <laughs> they scored the same result. Same result. Oh, and your kicker, Chris Boswell, 0. 0. 0.0. Wow. It was a rough day, that's for sure. The uh, the I, I pulled a Johnny with the tight end, and I don't mean Johnny as in actually I should actually I'm I I should not denigrate Johnny's memory like that. That was Johnny wouldn't even have made that bad of a move. He just wouldn't have started somebody. But yeah, mine, right, right, right. I literally decided I was going to drop a New York Giant to pick up the tight end for that day. Uh, and um, one of my people that I put in for was Taysom Hill, so that felt good that I missed him. Uh, but the Giants played at 6.30 in the morning, and the waivers don't clear till 9. So the entire thing went void and fell off the radar and was gone by the time the game started. So that was so good timing. Note, don't try to pick up anybody. No, not that. Don't, no, don't pick up anybody. It's just make sure you understand that if you involve anyone in the morning games that are in London – it yeah. will not work. You have to do that on a Saturday. So yes. yes, congrats to Greg. Nicely done. And I'm sure you enjoyed that. Let's move now, on to your wife. Interestingly enough, 
after this game by Matt, I said, is it time to hit the panic button on the spider pig? He tells me no, that it's just one bad week. I think we're going to see soon. You've had a few bad weeks, and if not hit the panic button now, when? I would have loved to see you in Chernobyl. <laughs> Radiation going off, green shit oozing out of the control board. We're fine. Not Everything's yet. fine. I would have been the lead guy in that. It was like, we're not yeah. reporting this. Don't touch that. We're fine. <laughs> Everything is As fine. My face Nothing is sloughing off three months later. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> this is normal. This was from Sun. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Next game. We've got the Malibu Stacys, who, let's see, totally fell back in love with Tom, apparently. Oh, yeah, she started on this time. She's going with... Uh, she sees Giselle's uh, on the way out. She's moving in. No, I told her, I, you know, I said, you play, play matchups with who you got. So that's what she did. Had a decent score out of him, 23.74. Alvin Kamara finally back, looking good. He ran a bunch, 25.4. And then Damian Pierce has a good Stud. day at 20.3. Uh, boy, talk about feast or famine with TJ Hawkinson. You like that, yeah. Me, Check 41. Weeks uh, one through no, three, three yeah. and week five. Yeah, Garbage. The one time I get him. Awesome. 41. <laughs> yeah, Lucky yeah. me. Yeah, not a lot out of Williams and a decent day out of Curtis Samuels. She was happy with that. Uh, Saints defense didn't do much. Uh, average on the kicker. On the flip side, we got Justin Herbert slipping a little bit down to 16 point four from an average of uh let's see 27 yeah well no you're no, no i'm that sorry no it's projection yeah, it wasn't sorry. yeah not, not average but no yeah, he's, he's, normally, he's normally over 20 for sure he's in day out of alec pierce though but uh not great from fryer moose that's is that the, that's the guy you had right no he's a pittsburgh tight end. i might have had him last year at some point in time and oh, okay. he was good but he got i think concussed in the game so that's why he might only have a 3.2 in fact i know zach gentry came in for him and scored a lot better but that's because okay. he was out yeah yeah, AJ Dillon, who I think is new on her team, uh, not is much. He? Three point four. I don't know. I thought that was no. a trade with Todd. No. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they trade. Maybe they did, but I'm just. But AJ Dillon hasn't been used this year as much as he has last year, so that's hurting the AJ Dillon owners. And then finally, uh, not much from uh, Renfro or oh. Pearson. Now, let me ask you this: Did you not watch the Monday night game? I did not watch. I don't have ESPN. <laughs> Whatever, um, loser. Uh, anyway. Um, the last play of the game where the Raiders were down by one point is a uh, crossing route where Hunter and Devontae are supposed to cross. And obviously one of them got that wrong because they literally ran into each other like Keystone oh, Cops play over. And Devontae, because he's a child, got so mad, shoved some cameraman down that's now suing him. And that was the oh, end of the Jesus. game. That's so great. rough. It was a rough day for those Raiders fans. Yes, Good absolutely. Good day for Malibu. She continues her move up the ranking yeah. chart with another win. Nice um, Let's Sorry, move Sam. on to the next one and go let's look at Mister. Let's 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 look at uh, Scrooge McDuck here. Now this Uncle is Todd's the, family feeding. Box. Yeah, this is the uh, sibling rivalry here. Not Uncle much of a rivalry. Todd's family feedback gets it done with two hundred and seventeen <laughs> points. Good lord! Like he needed Travis Kelsey on Monday night, tip it in with thirty-three and four touchdowns. Poor, poor cat puts up a decent score. I know, right? 50. She I finally gets a good that one. Cat. McCaffrey, uh, doing what McCaffrey does. Leonard Fournette, Lenny. holy cow, 36. 35. Decent day out of Hill. A, another decent day out of Michael Carter. Um, not much else, but then we've got the juggernaut of Todd's team, who the lowest scorers are going to be <laughs> Joe Burrows and Saquon Barkley at over 18. So you know your day's going well there. He gets... 22 from Jeff Wilson. Look at that ridiculous row. 30 row. from Cooper Cup. 32 from Justin Jefferson. 33 and a half from <laughs> Travis Kelsey. 20 from Amari Cooper. And 27 from, his from the Dallas Seaports. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, Young Ho Ku, name of, the, name of the century, gets one <laughs> point. Who cares? You don't need it. When you got uh, that are, going. What are, here's a, a quick on the spot poll with only one person to answer it. What are the odds Todd breaks the all time single game scoring record this year? It's pretty good. I'll have to look back because I think I had it printed on one of my t shirts uh, and see what the uh, the total is. I know it's in the 240s, 250s, or something like that. 
or maybe in the 220s. I don't know. I'll have to look back. I, I know for, for years and years, it was 220. Right. Yeah. That was Jason's that he set years ago. And then someone yeah. tied it, but they didn't go over it. And then I eventually beat it. But I'll have to go back and look at that. Yo, he's well on the way to. I mean, if he just has a decent day from Burrow um, and Terry McLaurin scores more than 15, it's over. It's, you know, it's over. Now, what I'm hoping is his hubris with putting the crown in his picture does to him what <laughs> Paul and what Steve did when he declared himself, oh, we've got you beat, Matt. And then I came back and won on that Monday night. That would be poetic justice. So you might want to think about changing that crown and not tempting the gods. Let's move on to the next game. Well, we were accused of having a, uh, a secret plutonic love affair with Todd by my sister uh, from our last what? video. Yeah, she said, you guys really love Todd. I was like, oh, he's just got a good team. I'll take that team. All right. Speaking of Devlins, another Devlin here. Uh, oh, my goodness. The Pop and Jay. Yeah, he wins. Sorry, I didn't doesn't, highlight him. Doesn't, doesn't uh, fall far from the tree in the Devlin no, family. Big day. We've got a huge day also from Jay at 186.6. Check it out. The last three digits of the score, 6 Six, six. Uh, Patrick <laughs> that's, Mahomes, not, that's not an accident, folks. <laughs> I, I know. He's got two players at almost 40 each. Patrick Mahomes yeah. and Gabe Davis. Both now, the Gabe Davis 40. one is really painful because they played my poor Steelers that just got whooped on 38 to 3. And literally, they weren't two minutes into the game. I literally was walking out to the smoker to check on the ribs. I come back in. Gabe Davis, like 80, 90-yard touchdown. I'm like, what happened? And that was just one of the two he'd have that day. You know, speaking of the Steelers, and I won't go long, but I give myself also some other credit. You think it was gutsy putting in Geno Smith last week. This week, I cut, not cut, I benched <laughs> my first overall pick, Najee Harris. Yeah. You're on the bench. Yeah. Get out of here. He's been and struggling. Up, uh, not costing me. Okay, well, back to this. And then he ended up getting another 31 and a half give or take mm -hmm. from Devonta Adams. On the flip yeah. side, Mama gets a great score from Austin Eckler, 37.9. Looking Not good. Not bad. Tyler Lockett with almost 30. And Ramondre Stevenson with 21 and a half. Look yeah, at the West scores, kind of average. Yeah, no. Nah. Not yeah. much to write home about. Yeah, Ramondre Stevenson is, is is making hay while the sun shines with um, Harris, the lead back, going down in that game. And he'll be out, I think, so Ramondre's going to start. So good on her to have him in the stable and put him into the uh, – the, the, the driver she especially and and then you know she got horrible with Naeem Himes he was supposed to have a big week because Jonathan Taylor was out and like in the second play gets concussed it was such a bad hit it wasn't as bad as the 201 I with the fingers it, yeah. but like he couldn't get up like he's shuffling all over the place I saw that. Over. I, I was like that. Hmm. yeah so yeah so wow. she's she's she uh couldn't pull it out congrats Jay to that one but we'll see how uh they end up in the standings if we get to that let's look on to Mr. Clemens versus Joel yeah, uh, one thing of note, I knew he was sure. coming off the field, especially after all the changes to the concussion. Oh, protocol, yeah, after the two, after I think people are the, a little more yeah, cautious right, for good reason. Right, so just pay attention to that. NFL, both. yeah. All right, on this one, we've got uh, Terry back on the winning ways here, 132, narrow victory over Kev, who got 126. On Terry's side, oh, my goodness, nearly 50 from Josh Allen. You That'll did. work. Diggs gets 26, and Devon, Devin Devernay uh, with 13 and a half. And look Devernay. at the rest of the scores. Mm -hmm. You know, decent day out of the Rams, but not much else on Kev's side. Kev had a good day from Derek Carr. I guess that passing offense is something. T nearly <laughs> 24. Brees Hall, who you tried to get for next God, to nothing, got 30. And then finally, Josh Jacobs, who, who he got in a trade. We mocked yep. him for going but to this look, guy, yeah, ended up getting him. 32, and I can't remember the other one, T. Higgins. That'd be A.J. Uh, Brown, as we traded for at 6.2, oh, as you'll see in the red. Okay. <laughs> well, then he made out this week, I guess, uh, but not a great uh, tandem there in his uh, no. wide receiver pair. Wait, actually, look at all of his wide receivers. Uh, yeah. They all did pretty poorly. Kev, come yeah, talk was... to me. 
it was rough for Kev. I mean, Amon was on a snap count, even though he was listed as a go, he was coming off of an injury. And so they had him on a snap count. He wasn't going to play everyone. So that should have cautioned him a little bit, but I can understand, Hey, when you got that kind of a guy on the field, you want to start him. He was a, he was a top five scorer in weeks past AJ Brown. Again, it's like, it's like Kevin right now has a seesaw and it's either this seesaw is up with AJ Brown and down with Josh Jacobs or up with Josh Jacobs and down with AJ Brown. We'll see if he can get that to even out going forward. And then poor T Higgins had an ankle injury. And I think that's what knocked him out of the game. I don't I know see. how long he's going to be out. So it, so it was, it was, it was a bad, it was just a bad day for Clemens. Not a, not a, just a you know a, a random thing that happened. So let's move on to the standings. Walk let's, us through this big let's boy. Let's do that. I will. I will. Okay, Brockway, a really competitive division. We got a yeah. two-way tie for first. Both teams at three and two. That would be Greg and continuing to move up. There's Malibu now tied for first. Uh, poor Cubs in uh, last at two and three, but one but only game one game first. back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Ogdenville, the Braille Bombers, and Tommy <laughs> Shelby's are basically uh come on cat zero and five <laughs> gotta get you in there don't let these two limp into the playoffs with average uh records hey, they have winning records Just whatever we smirch the people that North have winning records Haverbrook, uncle todd's family feedback alone in first at four and one camp crusty yours truly alone in second at three and two <laughs> and the poppin jays on a winning uh man all wins they finally got off the, they, yeah i think uh, so i think three. before that jason was was like one and uh one and three so that well, was good to see him get off that all of north haverbrook won this weekend which is no surprise to anyone got springfield up. gentlemen's four Corollies bounces back after her first defeat last week <laughs> spider pig <coughs> excuse me there's the losing record <laughs> in second place with the losing record of two and three and needing a bigger vote I hope he gets it. He's currently at one and four. I love you picking out the two uh, uh, I, really, really I was just, bad ones. No, I was just highlighting the ones that... Uh, You're that, one that, game ahead of that, pal. That I feel bad for and certainly need to turn it around. Um, so, you know, again, that panic button, it might be time for one of those teams to look for the panic button and start making some big offers uh, for some trades. Just don't do it with Todd. That's all I beg of you. Anyone but Todd. Trade with anybody but Todd. We don't need him getting any better. Let's look at the wild, wild west, or as I like to call it, today's. Ah, um, damn it. I see what? what happened. Okay. Go ahead. Will you walk us through this, Matt? You can't see it? Okay. All right. Well, this well, you always walk us through yeah. this. All right. So this one, this was a big day, as everyone knew it was going to be. I mean, Jason was trying to drive up the cost in person at the house with the, you got to bid at least 100 bucks. Everybody's got to go up Jason Mill. Jason Mill's the man. Look at Jason Mill. He's got all these touchdowns. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll bid appropriately. I'm not going to overbid on the guy. He is a boomer bust at best. I doubt he's going to get that every week. If he does, hey, I'd be happy to be proven wrong and good for Taysom Hill. But um, in the end, it was Camp Krusty bidding 101 in the triple digits on <laughs> Taysom Hill. Well, you know what sucks? Is not, a, I... not a running back, not a wide receiver, folks, a tight end. Hey, it doesn't matter. You no. saw he threw a touchdown this I week. Know. Hey, um, the the part that sucks is I up uh, I increased my bid. I put in three different bids, so I put uh, in the first one and I increased it twice. All of them were above sixty bucks. But you didn't know that, and so that's, I didn't know I, that. I, I totally so I get that. Yeah. Up. I kept going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and but, you were so, right because obviously somebody was at sixty, so your first one at sixty nine wasn't that far off. No. And then you just thought, oh, other people might be thinking that big, so I let's did. go. Yeah. I did 27, Pop and J 11. So we were all willing to go in more than we normally would for most people. So that was the big one of the day. The other few contests we had, I beat out the Pop and J for Hayden Hurst by only two bucks. And uh, the gentleman for Quarterly's got Tevin Coleman for five bucks over the zero that Todd put in. Um, but wow, 101. How much do you have left after that? I don't know. Because you don't spend, you you haven't picked up many people, so you could probably at least I've have picked up a around few, another, not, you know. I mean, I got Geno Smith. I got, I've actually gotten a bunch of guys, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know. You've been going crazy with that. But, yeah. but and Baker and, Mayfield. And you're not one of those $0 bidders either, so you're paying every time, no, right? Every you're an time. idiot. Yeah, thank That's, you. No. I'll be an idiot with this trophy, A. Eh? Why don't you send some extra money into the government, too, and say, hey, I want to overpay on my taxes just to make sure. I'll have Trump's... Uh, uh, accounting department do it for me no you would never do that you think you would know you would never go yeah because i don't want to go to prison exactly 
Okay. Get to the first matchup, you versus my mama. Okay, so they've got me projected to get a lousy 122. Why is that? <laughs> oh, I got people. I got stuff to clean up. I got a guy on a buy. It yeah, Brandon like, Cook's oh, on a buy, I'm guessing. There, so you'll fix that. Projecting mama to get 136.2. She's starting, she's starting Trevor Lawrence, huh? Yeah. Austin Eckler should be good. Ramondre, who knows? CD Lance. She's got a bunch of good players. I moved Miles Sanders up. And uh, Ooh, let's see. Nice. Where's my uh, – oh, I know what I did before you did this. I moved in Taysom Hill and took nice. out Cooks. So wait a minute. And took out, oh, took out Cooks. I thought you were going to say Mark Andrews. I was like, wait a minute. No, no, no. He's a flex. <laughs> so you got two tight ends starting. That is awesome. I love it. Yep. Well, so what do you think? I, I uh, this was done before the big. Pickup. Yeah, I get you. So, so we add Taysom Hill in there again. I don't. I expect Taysom Hill to fall back to earth. I don't think he's going to get you what he did before. But given your matchups, let's see who's Andrews playing. Oh, the Giants. He could do well against them. It'll be interesting to see how Clyde Edwards Hilaire matches up against that good Buffalo defense. And Geno Smith, does he keep his Geno going against the um, uh, the Arizona Cardinals? I'm sure he'll have a decent day. And hopefully, he'll do as well as they're projecting for you. Meanwhile, Mama's got Ramondre, who's a good, a good running back, but Cleveland, I think they have a decent run defense. Trevor Lawrence against Indianapolis. Now, for those that remember last year, all Indianapolis had to do to make the playoffs was win the last game against Jacksonville, who I think hadn't won a game all year, or if they had, it was like one game, and they lost to Jacksonville bad. Now, obviously, Indy wants some revenge on that one, but Jacksonville seems to have their number. In fact, I think they, I don't have to look, I don't know if they've already played once, but I know that maybe they have their number and let's see how they do against them. Uh, and meanwhile, we got Ezekiel Elliott going up against that division rival Philly, who has a very good defense. So we'll see if Zeke can manage out a decent day for my mom. For my mom. Obviously, I'm rooting for her, uh, but it's always fun when I get to root an extra bit against you just because I love seeing you. Lose. So we'll see how it goes. Let's move on to Joe needing a win against uh, Kevin Clements, who would like a win, doesn't need one, but would like it. And Obviously, he's got lots to update on this one. Yes. Needing a bigger boat is also needing a win. He gets another Kevin this week. Uh, <laughs> things are looking good for Joe with Rogers 20, Connor questionable at 15, and Mike Evans also another 15. Oh, and we've got Cortland Sutton, who's uh, projected to get a very nice 17 and a half. On the flip side, Kev. Getting hammered by buys this week, it looks like. It's way too early to tell. He's barely got a starting squad here. Um, not too hot on Sky Moore. Only projected to get 5.2, <laughs> who he might have to go with if he's got the, this many buys to deal with. Uh, let's see if you can pull one out. Uh, oh, Jacobs is on a buy right after the trade. That hurts. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it's two with, weeks after uh, the trade. It's two weeks after. It's, well, it wasn't right after it. Yeah, no, you're right. He has bi bi week issues. I don't know who the rest of his squad's going to be, so we'll see how they match up. But the ones I highlighted were obviously, you know, uh, Green Bay uh, versus uh, the 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 resurgent Jets. The Jets are looking strong these days. Let's see how old Brees does against them. Let's see how AJ Brown bounces back off that bad game, or if his poor showing i would say not so much bad game uh, against dallas and how does t higgins do is he is he able to go against new orleans if he is that's a sure start but it's a question of his ankle on the other side you got james connor's questionable and again going up against division rival seattle how's he going to look against them uh khalil herbert if david montgomery's a go that's going to be a uh one that he's going to think about maybe moving out of there or certainly not expecting much from and then mike evans going against my hapless Steelers right now if our defense plays as poorly as he did last week he's not going to score uh only 14 he's going to score 30 or 40 at this rate so it's, it's going to be a tough week for kev because if you look between Carr, Hall, and Jacobs, they average, or sorry, yeah, uh, I mean I'm Brown, sorry. and uh, Jacobs, I'm on St. Brown, and Derek Carr, Some those guy, guys yeah. average mm -hmm. 60 points between right. the three of them. So right, right. he's going to have to find 60 points 60 on his 60 points bench. somewhere else, and that's sometimes yep. tough to do. Oh, Jesus. Look okay. at my, look who I get. I'm so lucky. So <laughs> happy with that. Okay. Match Spider Pig and Uncle Todd's family feedback. I, I haven't seen <laughs> what his buy situation is, but I'm going to what buy. They're all plain. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to go out on a limb here <laughs> and say, I think Todd's got this one. We'll no see. Way. No Maybe way. Maybe something happens <laughs> and you get uh, the dolphins get more than zero. 
You've got two questionables with Kyle Pitts and Chris Olave. Now, Chris Olave, it's time for Kev to eat a little bit of crow here because I believe it was me who a few weeks ago said, I hadn't even heard of this guy. True. Who is this guy? True. And he appears to be all of that and a bag of chips, as the yes. kids say. So they I don't was say that wrong anymore, there. Yes. Dawn yes. was laughing because she says, every time I'm on the videos and say, who the hell's that guy? He ends up being some stud and I just don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> which is fine. I realize you don't need to know what you're talking about to be in front of a camera. So I'm going to keep doing what I do. Yeah, you do you, uh, baby. Do you have a snowball's chance in hell in this game? No, I think I'm going to get slaughtered here. This, okay. I mean, I wish they could en en enact a slaughter rule. So, like, once he passes me by 50, it just shuts off and says, okay, you've <laughs> lost. Um, I mean, look at the, the murderer's row. The points for tie breaks. Yes, exactly. So, the uh, on the plus side, it'll be interesting to see how Saquon does against Baltimore. Maybe I could slow him down with that one. Maybe Travis Kelsey, maybe they focus on him a little bit against Buffalo. That's a good defense. And the Cowboys versus Philly, that's going to be a great divisional matchup. We'll see how that pans out on my side. This is the week Kyle Pitts gets 50. I'm going to keep saying it till it happens. This is the week he's getting me 50. They're going to finally figure out how to unlock Kyle Pitts' uh, potential and do that. Uh, Chris Olave is going to wear those funny giant extra helmets to protect his head this week. So hopefully the DB doesn't throw him off the ground and give him a concussion like they did last week. Um, no, I, I, I think this is a foregone conclusion. This is Todd's game to lose unless something goes horribly wrong for all of his squad. So okay, let's just move on. Here's an instant poll. I'm sure it's going to make my sister upset. But sure. is it too early <laughs> to say it's Todd's league to lose? Don't do that. Don't 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 be a Dennis Green and uh, and and say crown him. You know you want to All crown right. him. Crown him. Don't crown <laughs> Todd yet. It's not over yet. All right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. We have the Wild Poopers coming off of a big day, and they expect about another 150 out of her team, which should needs be her on first paper. win. Yes, and on paper, that should be enough to take down the Malibu Stacys. although there's a team with some gutsy performances pulling them out. Kids we'll got some moxie. Yep. I think this, all right, I'm going to cr crown this one the game of the week. I think it's yes. too close to tell. Fournette coming off of a big game. Uh, Deontay Johnson, Pitt. We'll see what happens there. If they it would be the going. It would be really fun, like you said, if this was the game of the week where it comes down to just, you know, a couple of points here or there and and it's both nail biters going in to the last of their games. I'm I'm hoping for that. I heard an interesting thing today on a podcast that I thought, sweet Jesus, if this happens, that reminded me of Todd's team. Yes, Terry, Todd's team. There was some rumor <laughs> talking about that, that, oh, the Bills might trade for CMC. I'm like, are you kidding me? What? With how good they are without a decent running back, and then they get him? I'm like, what the hell? That is like, you got to be kidding me. Well, it's now, kind of turmoil. I don't know if that's right going now. to happen, but it, oh, God, it's it ugly. Yeah, Baker, fired, is, right? Baker is not playing like he's supposed to. Not that no. he was ever great, but they expected at least a little bit of an uptick, and he's doing horribly. And then you throw in um uh the fact that they fired the head coach and yep. that baker's injured it's like it's is not looking good yeah. for carolina Bad these days yeah. yeah let's move on to something more pleasant which is greg versus sam sam, sam, sam. we missed you at the uh, party last week i oh, hope when you come out to the next to time. ask if she came with todd that was a great picture by the way it's good seeing everybody no yeah well yeah we, we we certainly missed you guys and hope you guys were celebrating on your own oh, there. Yeah. Um, oh, it was yeah. great for all those that showed for those that didn't we hope to see them at the next thing or a different one down the line but uh yeah appreciate everybody that came we had lots of good food and uh still eating my way through some of it today so it was fun okay oh, so rent. okay 10 minutes jack hole i all gotta right, set a go. timer go all ahead right. move it so sam Coming off of a tough loss, see if you could turn it around. You've got a couple of cues on there to keep an eye on. Uh, and then on Greg's, Greg, they still project you to get 135, even though your guys average 157. I think it's probably going to be closer to that. So, Sam, check your lineup. Make sure you bring the heat if you want to get back uh, to the winning ways. Hide Next your wife, game. hide your kids. Greg's coming to kids, town. Hide, that's right. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Lamar Jackson averaging oh, we come 32. For you. Oh, we 30, come for you. you are so dumb. 32, dude. 32 with an average and 28 for Nick Chubb. Best running back yeah. in the league. I think Saquon might hold the best one, but Nick's got to be a – well, it's this player rank right there, number one. I take it back. Maybe he's number one. And they're saying that New England has a really good defense, so – if they do keep the running game in check, then they'll just check down to short passes to Kareem Hunt. So he has it bookended either way for that one. Will yeah, Michael Lamar Pittman, Jackson just yeah, nuts. Yeah. yeah. 
Will Michael Pittman rise up? I don't know. DK Metcalf, you're right. Gino, one of Gino's favorite targets All is Mr. Time. Metcalf. He yeah. loves him a lot. Uh, yep. And then you got the Bucks, good defense going against, oh, my poor Pittsburgh Steelers. Maybe they can do something. They got Keenan Allen and Pat Frymouth. Can either of them play? If they do, they'll certainly be needed by Sam's team. Good luck to both uh, teams. Uh, what's the? Oh, it looks like they're giving a lot to Greg, but you know what? Let's uh, let, let's let's root on Sam as well, and maybe she pulls the upset and uh, and outscores her projected one twenty to to, to to defeat Greg. Next up, we got your sister. Okay, next versus up versus Jason. Yes, we've got the uh, division and tied lead leaguing uh, gentlemen's four quarterlies. Mm. Look at Josh Allen averaging thirty seven. <laughs> Insane. They think he can get thirty one. Uh, Kenny Walker, uh, Seattle 12. That's yeah. the guy you're really high on, right? Yeah, that, talk about sliding into a situation. That's perfect for well, Penny going down. Want. Good job, yeah. Terry. Stefan Diggs, they expect a big day from him again, as do I. And then, Terry, you got a question mark down there at Drake London. Pay attention to that. Looking at the rest, uh, other than the Rams, pretty average. Going over to Jay, popping Jays. Uh, Pat Mah Patrick Mahomes. Uh, Quite not quietly, quietly no. know, but 30 points average. That's really, really good. Yeah. David Montgomery, they project way more than his average. They must think Washington sucks. They do. Uh, it is a home game for Chicago, though. Looking at uh, Gabe Davis. <laughs> Big average. That's a skewed points. average if you think yeah. of it because he's had some down weeks, but last week with his 38, that just bumped the average up. I think like Hawkinson. Just, yeah. Yeah. I think I think Gabe's a very feast or famine player, and we'll see if it's a feast weekend or if it's a famine versus KC, which is that great matchup from the playoffs last year. And then you got uh, Michael Thomas down there if hoping he plays, my tight yeah. end can throw him a couple of touchdowns. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but he's questionable. But the rest of his guys, sadly, only uh, four of them only averaging single digits. Let's pick that up there, Jay. And then we've got uh, the Indianapolis Colts, Jaguars. Not really sure there. Yeah, uh, should be a should be yeah, a good should be a game. close should, game. Should yeah. be competitive. I mean, anytime yeah. you got Josh Allen yeah. going against Patrick Mahomes in that same game. That's yeah. going to be fun to watch for both yeah. those teams. Oh, this there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Game. Yeah, see? Don't give me C. I think we ran long because we did that other extra slide last Everybody week. Everybody loved right. that last week. That, 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 there was a lot of chatter about that in person with the whole. And then <laughs> it just there. cut off. I'm like, yeah, I know. And it was just great. <laughs> it was just so funny. I was cracking up. I'm like, you got to be kidding me with the. We got plenty of time. That was the best thing ever was to come <laughs> back to that. Mr. Kev's so overconfident. That's not it at all. Your faith in your friends is yours. Exactly. Right. So we've got. Let's see. Uh -huh. we're, we're, well, we're we're five weeks into the season. We're we're just at the midway point. I think. It, we, wait, we have thirteen weeks in our season, so we're almost at the midway point of our of our 13? regular season. I think it's thirteen weeks of the regular season, and then three weeks of playoffs. Right. I think that's how Man, it goes. Although, wait. Now that it's seventeen weeks, maybe it's maybe it's fourteen weeks. Yeah, maybe it's fourteen weeks of regular season. So we're approaching. We're 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 working our way towards that. I will um, say it's still wide open. Oh I mean, yeah, no one's out of it. Even the zero yeah. and five and one and four, there you can come back from that. It's not it's Absolutely. not insurmountable, and there's a lot of time for everybody else who's in the middle of it. So there is a little bit of separation going on, but lots to be seen. Lots of games still to be played. And this year, let me know, other people out there that watch this, the three people that do or whatever, let me know. I'd just be curious in our in our online texting, not online text, our ongoing text, I should say. Is it me or does this year feel slightly different fantasy wise that there's not as many normally by weeks four for sure and beyond there are some things that you figured out that okay this is going to happen with this player and it mostly does there's a little bit of variability but for the most part these players are expected to get x amount but it seems like just when we thought we were getting to that point all of a sudden it starts flipping and there's oh this one went completely crazy and this one went completely down and you're like okay yeah. now i don't know what it is like they had been using this guy now they're favoring this one and it's like is it me or is it uh, is it me thinking that it's a crazy year or is it or is it true? Is there, are other people experience that too that have played before that are looking at other years? So I yeah. don't know. Let us know in the comments below. I will say this if you if you're interested at all in instant feedback to that, I will say one thing we've always seen is guys who went off the previous year and did jack shit the fall. Oh, for sure. We've seen mm -hmm. that plenty but you're right that idea that guys are slowly like ramping up hitting their stride and oh this guy's going to be good this year to nothing or some huge injury 
that changes well, yeah everything. no aside from injuries i'm just talking about yeah. scoring wise for players yeah. who are still out there that looked like in weeks one two three and four oh they were on this trajectory and they should be here and all of a sudden they went whoa whoa and we're still unsure about well we're hoping this week's going to be like that and because that really makes it tough for those people that are looking at those trends going okay based on the trends this is the guy I should start. And then you start me like, what, what, what the hell happened? It was supposed to be yeah. here and yet you just left me here. And if you're uh, lacking in studs, like I am in so many positions, you count on some of those things and you're like, damn it. But well, that's what makes this game fun. There's nothing, there's nothing more fun than this win or lose. This is the, the best uh, 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 fairy tale sport ever. Yeah. And then, which I've noticed, and this probably happens every year. I just, for whatever reason, haven't been paying attention. But one thing that I have noticed this year is this like TJ Hawkinson thing where it's like nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing, 41. 40, nothing. You're like, what? I mean, how does it change so much? I mean. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, you, 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 you the, the funny thing is, I think it was, I think it was someone, again, on a different podcast, it might have been the same way they were talking about the use of TJ Hawkins, and they're like, that works so well. And then it's yeah. like, and oh, no, no, I know they, they were also talking about the other guy from uh, Indy who had that big week, Mo Alley Cox. They're like, uh, um, I'd like to actually walk into Frank Reich, who's the head coach of the of the Colts, and say, excuse me, why can't we just do more of this? Yeah. This works. You, yeah. know, you did this Hello. and it worked, and then you went away from it. Why? Why would you walk away from something that seemed to be, I mean, if you, did something that worked and then you try it out the second and it didn't work okay then there's a reason to maybe we dial that back but if it yeah. was working then you just abandon it completely what are you doing right? I don't get why it. yeah i don't so, get it anyway yeah so anyway good luck to those coming into week six it could be interesting and exciting as it always is thanks again for the party that was fun uh we'll come up with another one in a yeah, couple glad of you weeks guys finally go out did there it. yeah yeah jason's uh talking about having us up to his weed ranch when so, does he go to that the he's there. He there he's already oh, in it oh yeah great. he's swimming naked oh, all the time great. up there he's having a great time does he get mail by the way i don't know i think he does but okay. I, I i don't know i i did get a picture from joe that there's literally a dirt road that leads to his house you think you're you're, you're gonna get lost well, back there I, joe went out there to look at the whole uh yeah i should have known that sorry yeah so so it's it but but i can't wait to go out there i will take lots of pictures and uh send them back yeah Where i'd like to get go? that to upgrade my christmas card uh list address book so for hopefully. sure yes i will get yes, you that yeah. i will, I will right, get his address all right man yeah. so any closing thoughts before we go or advice for folks next, uh, going oh, into the next God, don't listen to me i'm terrible <laughs> talk to my wife that's my she's advice brain, don't talk to me she's he's the brain sweetheart <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah <clears throat> We knew that long ago, but that's okay. Exactly. That's why you what married you? You're a smart boy. Any shots for you before we? Uh, no, just I, 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 I cannot wait to see how it's going to go and how some of these teams are going to shake out. It sure looks like Less we have than some. one minute. I know. Okay, we'll, we'll, we will wrap it up. The okay. parting thoughts is I'm just grateful to have such a fun group of people yeah. playing fantasy football with me. So me for Kevin Heath, this is Matt Dickey saying sign off. Kev, take us home. Stay classy, Bone Storm. <laughs> We're out of time.